All right, so we have um, written a paper about our new computational 2D materials database, the C2DB. And um, what we have in that database is uh, a lot of properties that we've calculated for around 3,000 different two-dimensional materials. So we start with a uh, known, experimentally known 2D crystal structure. Then we decorate the lattice of that structure with different atoms. That creates a number of hypothetical 2D materials, which we then calculate in a workflow and put it into our database. So over here you can see the workflow that we're using. We're calculating the structure and the stability and also a range of different properties, including electronic and magnetic and optical properties. And up here you can see just a, a representative set of some of the structures we have in the database today. And I should say that most of the, uh, the properties are calculated with DFT, but we also apply more accurate many-body perturbation theory calculations like the GW method and the BSE to calculate band structures and optical spectra. Over here you can see a comparison of the uh, band alignment between two uh, different monolayers and the offset, the band offset is plotted here as calculated in GW versus DFT. So you can see here that this is actually uh, quite important to, uh, to include. So all this data is uh, online. You can go and uh, search it um, on a website and you can download the entire database if you want to play with it. And it's all for free. And uh, we're going to make a, a brief demonstration of, of how that works. Okay, so let me illustrate how this uh, database works. So here's the website. And uh, you click on Browse Data. And then we can search here for a material. Let's take something we all know, MOS2. And you see a list of all the materials that contain molybdenum and sulfur. And uh, here is the structure, which is the most stable version of MOS2. You can see it over here. And here are some basic properties, the space group, the band gap, the magnetic state. You can also find here the, uh, the ID for the uh, IS, uh, ICSD, if you want to find the, the parent bulk structure in the um, crystal structure database. And here is a DOI for a paper that reports um, a monolayer of MOS2. You click here, you can see the stability of, uh, you can see the stability of this phase is actually on the convex hull. There is a number of other 2D materials containing molybdenum and sulfide, which are thermodynamically unstable. You can find them over here and look at their properties. Uh, elastic constants and, and phonons at the gamma point. Here, the elastic tensor is reported. Here is the uh, DFT calculated electronic band structure projected on the out of plane spin component as set here, the projected density of states, uh, the Brillouin zone and the position of the valence band maximum and conduction band minimum are, are marked here at the K point. You can also see the positions of the uh, uh, band extrema relative to the vacuum level, the deformation potentials if you're interested in the electron phonon coupling. Um, then there is a zoom around the valleys where you can see the um, the shape of the band here and the uh, effective masses for the holes and the electrons are listed. Um, we also calculate the band structure with the HSE functional, which is um, uh, typically more accurate than the PBE result. And also for some materials with the GW approximation, and uh, that's even uh, more accurate, but also computationally more expensive. So we only have that for around 300 materials as of now. The polarizability calculated in the RPA and the optical absorption of the material here in the uh, calculated with the Peter Peter equation, where you can see the A and the B excitons here below the band gap. So this was just one out of these 3000 materials that are in the database right now. Uh, you can also download the entire database if you go back here. Uh, you can just download the entire database if you click here. Okay, that's it. Have fun.